Buena Vida at thefoodbeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make my delicious red roasted pepper goat cheese spread. It's amazing because you have the tanginess of the goat cheese, the smokiness of the bacon, you have the freshness from basil, and it's so simple, so delicious. I know you can't wait. So I'm going to start by drizzling some olive oil over a half of a red bell pepper and I have three garlic cloves and I'm going to roast this in the oven. So I just roasted this bell pepper and the garlic for, uh, I don't know how long it took because I didn't time it, but it was at 425 degrees and it got like a little yumminess. I took the garlic out sooner than the pepper because that doesn't take as long. And now I'm going to just peel off the skin. Uh, I'm going to mince the pepper. I just do like little strips going down. I don't have a lot of room here. All right, so we got 12 ounces of goat cheese, fresh goat cheese, like not flavored, make sure it's not flavored. And four ounces of cream cheese, that's a half a stick. I'm gonna do my garlic, three cloves. Now I had cooked some bacon prior to uh, this, <laughs> and I just made sure it's all browned, but it's not too crispy. That's three slices of bacon, y'all. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of my roasted pepper to incorporate the flavor. I'm not adding my basil, and I'm saving this because I'm gonna mix it in at the end. A little pepper. I'll taste it and then I'll add the salt accordingly when it's all done. <laughs> Sometimes I like to pulse it because it's, it's a big clump of hard cheese, so pulsing it kind of breaks it up. You gotta scrape the sides every once in a while. Incorporated. All right, that looks pretty well incorporated. It looks extra bacony today, so yum. So I'll transfer this to a bowl. We're gonna add the remaining ingredients, mix it all in. Roasted pepper, about two tablespoons of basil chiffonade. See if we had incorporated all of the pepper, uh, to start, then it would have been like a nasty red color. And I want you to kind of tell that it's goat cheese. I don't want it to be pink. So here we have it, folks. A delicious goat cheese spread. Normally I, I serve it on a crostini, but um, a nice warm French bread is always good too. Mmm. So good. You're gonna love it. I would not lie to you. <laughs>